I'm Greg from Thinkific, and we're gonna talk about translating your online course into other languages. Now, when it comes to translation, there's really two components. There's platform translation, so that's the place where you put your course, and translating the overall platform. Now, the other part of it is content translation. So we're gonna spend most of our time on content translation. I'll just say, if you are hosting your online course with Thinkific, it's basically one click to just select the language, and hey, your whole platform's translated. Then you gotta worry about the content. So that's your videos and your other lessons and other material that you're delivering to your students. If you are a language expert, you probably don't need much help with this. You're gonna go and translate your own content. But for the rest of us, we need a little help with this. And there's a lot of places where you can get help with content translation, uh, often in a very affordable way. So just a few resources you can try out, uh, basically where you're looking for freelancers to jump in, take a look at your content and provide a translation. For it. Now, a ton of resources you can find just on Google about translation services, but a few that we've used that you might want to try out. Uh, Fiverr is one where you can potentially find people. Uh, that's 5RR, Fiverr.com. There is Upwork.com and Freelancer.com. And in these places, you can go and coordinate work with uh, freelancers who can come in and actually translate your content. So you can give them access to your videos or your course or your lessons, your quizzes, and have them provide a translation file for you. Uh, or And for your videos, it can be a little tricky because you're probably not gonna reshoot your whole video with, with a native Spanish speaker or French speaker, but you could just get captions for different languages. So that is another option. You don't have to go full reproduction of your course. In terms of why you might want to do this or when you might want to do it, I would say don't do this as the first step once you've created your course in your native language. Probably this is something you do after you've sold a few copies or you've gotten it out there and you've had some success in the original language of production and then you're looking to reach other markets. And then at that point, I'd even do a little bit of research into those markets. So you're not spending your time and effort translating into Spanish if there's not much of a market for your course in Spanish. So do a little bit of research, make sure you've already got a bit of success with your existing course, and then once you're at that point, translating your course into another language can be a great way to reach out into a whole new market of people who otherwise wouldn't be exposed to your course. For more tips on online courses, you can subscribe to this channel, check out our blog at blog.thinkific.com, or if you're looking to create your own online courses or do more with them, check out thinkific.com. You can sign up for our forever free plan and try out building or moving over your own online courses.